So my name is Samantha Chapman and today we are interviewing the up-and-coming artist Lakin who performed today at Park Student Union. Hi there Lakin! Hi! So first of all we want to know what got you started in music and why did you decide it was something you want to pursue? Oh that's a good question because those are definitely different questions. Um, <laughs> so my dad um, was a professional percussionist and background singer um, and he started touring when I was three so I definitely you know, I, I grew up around a very high caliber mm -hmm. of music, musicians and singers. Um, and then my mom taught me the basics of piano and things like that. So, you know, I, I grew up around it. My whole family is kind of involved in music. Um, but what made me decide to pursue it um, was, I, I don't think it was anything like specific, but as I started to write more, like as a teen, I just realized that um, you know, I, I had something that I could really work with and I, and I remember having a thought like, I could definitely make it as a singer-songwriter, you know? So, uh, yeah, that, I think that's how I kind of initially got into it and then the further I got in, you know, I realized that I really liked it and collaboration and songwriting, the whole deal. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. If you could describe your musical style, how would you describe it? Um, okay, so I'm asked this question a lot, so I feel like I'm prepared. Um, so I would say that my music is definitely um, a little bit of pop, soul, and folk music. Mm -hmm. um, but as far as the pop goes, I use a lot of live instruments. So not as much of the synth stuff um, pop, but more like the singer-songwriter pop, like a John Mayer or a Jason Mraz or um, Sarah Bareilles, Colby Calais, those kind of artists is what I, I, I kind of am in more of those uh, demographic musical circles. Okay. What kind of music do you personally like listening to? Oh, I like listening to everything. Um, almost everything. I'll, yeah, <laughs> almost everything. I'm not a huge fan of uh, straight up house music, like mm -hmm. the do, 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 you know, like over and over again. Um, but pretty much everything else I, I can kind of get into. For the most of my musical taste, I would say the singer-songwriter stuff, just mm -hmm. because, you know, I can kind of pull from those things and be like, oh, that's really cool, like, maybe I can try that. Um, so yeah, the, even the artists that I just mentioned, uh, you know, I really respect those kind of those kind of artists. Um, so yeah, that would probably take up most of my music listening. If you had advice for someone who wants to pursue music as their career, what kind of advice would you give them? Um, I would say a couple things. For one, definitely learn your craft as well as you can. Um, for instance. My dad uh, told me when I was growing up, and when, once I had decided you know, to go the music route, he's like, learn your music theory because a lot of women don't in this industry. And so he's like, I know how you are, and if you want to be able to communicate with people, then you need to learn the music theory so that you can do that. Um, so I had to learn you know, different parts of my craft. That's definitely one thing. Um, but the second thing would be to just surround yourself with people that are conducive to that growth. So whether that's like a support system like your family or friends or other musicians that can kind of guide you, mm -hmm. I think that's really important. Um, just to, to know that somebody's gone before you and is kind of, you know. They're to like help you. Yeah, yeah, they're to help you and just give you a heads up, you know, on things to, to look out for. Mm -hmm. um, that's what I would say. Okay. And then finally, one last question. So I understand your latest CD is called If Night Turns to Daylight. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that name for your CD? Good question. Um, <laughs> that, that title actually came from one of the lyrics in one of the songs on the album. It's, um, the last track on the album is called Feel You. And um, I went back and forth between like different titles if I wanted to do something that had um, like not a lyric you know, from one of the songs that it was just kind of an idea mm -hmm. externally. Um, I settled on that one because that song um, is basically about my relationship with God and how regardless of whatever thing happens in my life, like I just want to know that He's there. And so um, I thought that that title and that lyric, If Night Turns to Daylight, was kind of almost a parallel to my life at the time. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I think other people can kind of relate to that, even if it's just like a friend or a significant other or whatever, family member. Um, everybody needs a rock, you mm -hmm. know. Everybody needs something that they can, like, count on and uh, see you through until the daylight, you know. So that's kind of, that was kind of my thinking behind, you know, the If Night Turns to Daylight. Um, 
just like if everything else fails in life, you know, at least I have this one thing that I can count on. Yeah, yeah. It, it's going to happen no matter what. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, thank you, Lakin, for joining us today. Um, I wish you good luck in your musical career. Thank you. Appreciate and it. thank you, EVCC students, for watching. For more updates, stay tuned in with the Clipper.